Okay, I'm about to, uh, I'm gonna wait the traffic clear out and then show the heavenly of high beams. Um, okay, this car is gone. Okay, this car is coming. I don't want to startle them. Alright, I'll turn on one, two, three. Yeah. combination of both is like killer. I couldn't ask for a better setup. It lights up perfectly where it needs to be. Um, so I, I can't complain. Yeah, of course I can't even light them up no more just because there's too many people. Don't want to blind anybody, but just an idea. I totally recommend the uh, profile high, high lens for the high beams. I totally recommend them. And I also recommend the uh, HIDs, the, the NHK G5 ESL. I recommend these too. I say probably go, you can probably get away with the lower, uh, a lower temperature bulb, but I think I'm good with this color temperature. Um, it warms it up quite a bit. You can't really see on the camera, but in person it's a little bit warmer. It's not as, it's kind of like a, <clears throat> it's kind of a um it's kind of more like a on the border of uh 5000 k just because of the way it, the way the blue lens handles the light but it actually keeps it somewhat i'm gonna say somewhat uh i guess somewhat usable but i don't know I say, I don't know, one of my, whatever the next retrofit will be, I gotta decide. I'm gonna retrofit the other lights. I'm not, I'm undecided on what I want, I want it to be retrofitted with, actually. But I do like the look of the, uh, of the, of the blue projectors, or the blue, uh, was it, the blue lenses. I, I do like them. So. I say, uh, the reviews, I say, I say go for it. But definitely the high lens, that thing is awesome. Okay, I might get the light up the high beams one more time. Let me see here. Let's keep this car in front of me. Yeah, I know. I'm driving like a bat. But yeah, as you saw in my other video, yeah, the how I got it aimed, I need a, I need to adjust it a little bit, but not too much. But yeah, as you see my little stair, little stair stack pattern. Um, like I said, it's good on curves for for oncoming traffic. And I think I always lined up my beans like that. It just uh, when you live on curvy country roads and you see high beams in your face or you see uh, low beams in your face, it kind of dazzles a lot of people. And uh, you know, I, I didn't want to be the, I didn't want to be the ones <laughs> to just you know, okay, get my HIDs and aim them up or whatever. Yeah, so okay, all right, we do get to light them up. All right. See here, see, see y'all can tell any difference. Yeah, it's the problem with child. When you try to do something, when you want to do something, you can't do it. But uh, I do say, yeah, these are good for distance. Like above the cutoff, the distance is awesome. As you can see, like yeah, all that is lit up. So. So these are perfect for distance. If you want to see far, no problem. Uh, okay. I'm trying to wait for traffic on the other side. 
Uh, look like he had his on too, apparently. Okay, all right. This one, two, three. Ugh, oh shit. Okay, I'm blind to somebody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. One, two, three. Yeah. Those are hella bright. Hella bright. Yeah, I think I'll do a part two of this because uh, it is too much, uh, too much traffic on the other side. I, I don't want to be blinding anybody, so. I'll do a part two somewhere. I just gotta go somewhere where there won't nobody be be there. So you know you can, so I can highlight the differences and whatnot. But uh, okay, I'm out. Y'all y'all got to see a little bit of the high beams, and I will probably make one tomorrow.